over the past two years, from literally the darkest moments of my life to living the best life I can right now, there is one very important thing, very important habit that I learned that literally changed my life. And it's going to sound shocking despite how simple it is. And you can definitely do it as well. Yet this simple habit cured problems such as feeling lost, unmotivated, no energy to literally go throughout my whole day. Lazy, tiring mornings and tired all day. It cured all of this. And it's sunlight. Look, I know it sounds unbelievably simple. However, it's like the building blocks, the founding ground of self-improvement. The basic steps that you need to master. It's like sleep, right? Sleep is something that we all need. It's a very basic thing, but a lot of us get bad sleep and it affects all these other habits and it makes our day feel bad. It's the basic founding blocks, but it's very, very important. And it's the same thing with sunlight. Not getting enough sunlight into your body makes you feel down, makes you feel unenergetic, and it affects a bunch of other habits and the rest of your day. Sunlight is the same as sleep. They're both unbelievably important. Wake up with the sun. You see, this is something that really, really helped me. I I used to wake up at like six every single morning. The typical like entrepreneur early morning, um, uh, which I do now. But like two, three months ago, six o'clock, it was pitch black. There was no sun. The sun didn't come up until seven. So I was getting up at six and I was staying in my room doing nothing until seven o'clock. What was the point of me getting up at six? I did nothing beneficial. And I also didn't feel good either, even though I got up at 6am. However, if when I then got up at 7, when the sun rises, right, so where you can actually see outside, I would then go outside and I would s- literally run, sprint out the door to get sunlight onto my skin. Like, I would do that the moment I got up. Now it's when 6am, it's sunlight, so I get up at 6 now, but that's just because the sun's up at 6 You know, the difference is immeasurable, like your room, inside your room, your bedroom, the place where you spend probably a lot of your life. Your room emits roughly 100 to 200 lux. Lux is basically the measurement of light. So your room emits roughly 100 to 200 lux. That sounds good, right? That you're like, oh wow, 100, 200. Whoa, that's, that's, that's so much. Yeah, the sun emits over 100,000 lux. Over 100,000. So you spending a whole day in your room going outside in the sun for five minutes will already be better. The sunlight is a hundred times better than what your room, what your house can give you. This is why it makes you feel such an amount of difference. And it kind of makes sense why it makes us feel so much better. And the thing is, like a lot of you might be creating excuses right now. Hopefully you're not, but there will be people out there, unfortunately, um, and this would have been me too in the past, uh, making excuses like, oh, well, I mean, eh, it's never sunny. Right now, right now, it is not sunny. It is grey. It is grey skies, and it's been like this since six in the morning. It's not been like golden rays of sunshine. However, that's still more than enough. That sunlight is still admitting over a hundred thousand lux. You are still getting sunlight onto your skin. If you can see outside, if it is not pitch black, you can see the grass, you can see the trees, you can see the sky, but yeah, it's grey and it's murky. There is still over a hundred times amount of sunlight than in your room. It doesn't have to be golden rays of sun, so you're still going to feel all the benefits as if it was sunny, as if it was golden rays. Golden rays will make you feel better because it looks better. But why? Why is it important? Why is it beneficial? How, what does it actually improve getting sunlight into our system? The most important five minutes of the day, sunlight. Like, how is it actually, like, what does it actually improve? A lot. I'm gonna go through a list as quick as I can, but it improves a lot. I had a little voice crack there. I hope no one saw that or heard that. I don't know how you would see it. I'm gonna stop talking now. 
increased amounts of dopamine, increased amounts of testosterone. Literally, studies, they have done studies from people who spent 90 minutes more in sunlight a week than compared to people who didn't, and they had a huge boost in testosterone. Increased amounts of energy for your whole day genuinely just comes down to it. Increased happiness, life satisfaction. It's like a cold shower. It feels amazing as if you're on a drug, like it feels like you're on a high, but it's high on life. I also do cold showers anyway, but like, you you know what I mean. So, all I want you to do, if you got this far in the video, congrats, most people have a really shit attention span, so congrats, I'm, I'm proud of you, I'm proud of you. Didn't mean to knock the wire there. But, all I want you to do is literally just go outside with a coffee, with your morning coffee or your morning water or I, I don't know and just kind of walk around your garden spend five minutes just you know drinking that coffee just letting sunlight into your system sit read a book go on your phone if you must but actually no don't do that that's a stupid one read a book <laughs> read a book and have a coffee outside instead i don't know why i said that just enjoy your garden enjoy the sunlight and before you know it you've spent more than five minutes outside and those five minutes you've gotten more sunlight in your system is if you stayed in room inside all day you feel amazing it sounds very simple but this is genuinely the habit that helped me change my life and helped me stay consistent in waking up early productive Sunlight's awesome, man. Get more sunlight into your body. Uh, another video's gonna pop up in the corner, and you can click on it if you want. It might help you out like this one as well. And subscribe if you want as well. The more important message of the video. Stay consistent. Don't give up. Alright, come here. Sound for